From San Francisco, California, Kathleen McClung, reading her second prize, second prize winning prose poem, Reprieve. Thank you to the organizers of this wonderful contest, and thank you all for being in this audience today. This is a poem, a tribute to my mother. It's called Reprieve. Outside Tom's bait and tackle store, we found a chunk of metal in the gutter near a pole, an ugly thing, all twisted wires. You touch that and you die, the friend beside me said, another first grade kid whose name and face and gender fail me now, but not that certainty of tone, that air of, yes, pure radioactivity right here. I paused, then skeptic hunkered down and stroked one finger on a wire. Some grease, but worse, the voice, you're really gonna die. And something like a Geiger counter clicked in me, confirming, yes, it's true. I wailed and fled in the direction of my house. I knew by running that I might arrive in time. In time for what? to pass some clue to people that I loved, to hide my head beneath a pillow, dulling out the roar. I ran and ran, a blur of neighborhood, and when she rushed onto the porch and scooped me up, she gathered what she could, and then my mother, did we hurry, did we stroll, returned with me along those blocks, returned to sidewalk edge and telephone pole, and look down on that junked mystery, a hush between us, slow, exacting scrutiny at work. How long we stood examining, I don't know now, but something changed within that hush. Assurances were made. I was not to die, no, not then. Our looking made it so. And when we found a clerk inside, his naming of the harmless auto part, his whisking it away, were two almost unnecessary acts. The soothing had been done, the awful granting of reprieve. Thank you.